I was a, um, a delayed reader. Uh, it took me a long time to, um, to come to reading and to, uh, uh, to be able to uh, be adept and uh, fluent as a reader. I knew that one should read, I knew that that was a thing that I should be able to do. So I was very good at um, uh, mimicking reading behaviors. Um, uh, so I was very good at looking at like a person who does read because, you know, as a, um, uh, as a little girl in Catholic school, I was a rule follower um, and I knew about following expectations. Um, so I was, uh, but what I loved was listening. I loved the stories that were told to me. Uh, when I was a kid, my parents read to us most nights. We, they read all of uh, C.S. Lewis. They read all of Tolkien. Um, they, read, um, uh, they read a lot of Dickens to us. We loved Dickens as kids. And I loved the way that stories would sound. Uh, I loved the, um, uh, I, I loved the, I loved the, the rhythm of language. I loved um, uh, the shape of words. I loved that as a kid. Uh, when I was a little bit older, because I was the oldest of five kids, uh, I w one of my jobs, one of my tasks in the summer was taking everybody to the library, my my siblings and and you know whatever other kids happened to be in the house on that day. And uh, and so we'd walk down to the library, and uh, the Walker Library at the time was this uh, this weird. Um, I think it was built in the late 70s. This weird. Uh, it was made out of concrete, and most of the most of the building was subterranean. So it was this like weird underground world. But I loved being there, and they had these you know uh, modernist looking um, uh, research carrels, so you'd find your little books and and um, and then sit in someplace soft. So I loved um, uh, books with art. Um, I, I would go and find. Um, uh, you know, books of paintings and, um, and just stare at the art for a long time. Uh, but what I loved doing was uh, getting books on record. And at the time, you could get books on record that, you know, a lot of them were produced by the BBC. They were done as radio plays and they had been released on record and I would bring them home and I had this uh, this record player that I bought with my own money at a garage sale. It was made by Fisher Price, and it was um, it was it was cream and orange. And I set it up in my closet because you know, with a big family, you don't have a lot of privacy. Uh, so I, um, uh, I I shared a room. All my siblings shared rooms, and um, and so I would close the closet door and I would listen to uh, books on records. So I remember listening to um, a, a radio play of um, of Treasure Island and it was completely riveting and I listened to it again and again and again um, and and then later on um, when when I became when I became a reader uh, I have always been an aural thinker um, I think almost exclusively in um, in language and not in pictures uh, and um, and so as a result the um, the way that a story sounds is um, kind of central to my uh, relationship with that story 